Everybody loves a free Clash of Clans Town Hall 15. Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon and believe it or not we are back with no cash Clash of Clans. It has been a month, one month since we've had an episode about this account and here we are with the 296th installment. We need to cover over a month's worth of footage in today's episode and we are going to watch this free to play Town Hall 15 get oh so much closer to Town Hall 16. And we know what that means. If I manage to fully max out this account before the next update, I will be ending my career as a YouTube content creator of Clash of Clans. And I will also stop playing the game. Now that sounds dramatic, but obviously it's pretty much an impossibility. Uh, especially if you go down the equipment road, right? Yeah, hero equipment has completely changed the definition of a maxed out player. A lot of people say that you don't need to max out all of your hero equipment in order to be fully maxed out. I don't know. What do you guys think technically is the true definition of maxed at this point? Now, of course, there's also the fact that I have many months worth of upgrades remaining just in the defenses, just in the walls, not even touching the lab. We have a lot going on right here, and there's no way on God's green earth that I will be maxing out this account before Town Hall 17 is released, irregardless of the hero equipment. So don't worry, we are not going anywhere for the time being. Now, this account, however, is still entertaining. I am playing it, although we haven't seen a video in about a month. That's because of all of the other stuff that's going on in Clash. I still have been playing this account on a daily basis, and I'm doing my best to keep the builders occupied. As you can see, there's no date stamps on these clips, but I'm generally not letting a builder go free longer than about 12 hours before I am putting them back to work. Also, just as far as accountability goes, I don't skip over upgrades. I don't skip over content. Every single upgrade, every single gem I am earning and spending has been included in this series. And if you need to check up on me, feel free to go back to the very first episode in the playlist and I dare you to watch the entire No Cash Clash playlist from start to finish. It would take many, many days, but every single upgrade has been included. And you know what? And as a matter of fact, just for posterity's sake, the idea that these videos will outlive me and perhaps Clash of Clans could outlive me, hey, it's, it's reasonably possible. I mean, you know, Supercell has these 99-year plans where they try to keep things going indefinitely. It's entirely possible these videos will outlive me and the No Cash Clash playlist, which will shortly be over 300 episodes, will be there for many, many years to come. Uh, hopefully, Clash of Clans will be here as well. And, and now I'm really getting into the Gala philosophy. Can uh, imagine that maybe one day the Gala great-great-grandkids watch this episode and say, this was our great-great-grandfather making videos about a mobile game back in those early days before we didn't have to have mobile phones and mobile devices because it was all wired directly into our brains. Or You never know. You don't know where we're going with that. And I honestly, I never know where I'm going with these episodes. And now I've gone down a really strange rabbit hole and I'm really distracted. I'm thinking about my mortality. I'm thinking about the longevity of the game, about gaming and where we will go in the future. Okay, okay, man, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna bring myself back. I'm not gonna delete this because I, it's, it's, it's something to leave here forever. Like I said, you never know. Okay, no cash clash. Okay, yeah, here we go. Another day, another week has gone by, another set of upgrades. Notice we have three builders free. I, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit repetitive, right? It's a little bit grindy getting through all of this stuff, but doing it free to play, doing it without ever spending a penny feels good, right? It, it's, it's a sense of accomplishment that every player has, and I think that free to play players earn it more so than anybody else because they've gotten every single one of these upgrades done without ever having to turn to purchasing gems or books or packages or anything else like that. Heck, not even the gold pass, the best value in the game. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy it because, you know, obviously if you're a use code Galadon member, you want to have that gold pass because it's going to accelerate. And we've seen that. I mean, look at the comparison between no cash clash and gold pass clash and how much further along gold pass 
Clash is. The series started two years after this series began, and Gold Pass Clash is already further through Town Hall 16 than this account is through Town Hall 15, and that's for five or six bucks a month. Now, you'll notice the progress base is getting reorganized here because this was that last content update where suddenly we needed to upgrade all of the mines, collectors, and pumps. So No Cash Clash suffers a bit of a setback here time-wise, and it's going to be another few weeks before we get that stuff done. Luckily, those upgrades are less expensive and take less time, so they'll get finished along with the Dark Spell Factory right here. Just not even going to move that to the progress base side. We'll just leave it there, get it upgraded, and move on. Now, I wanted to also take a moment to really thank, and I sincerely mean this, and just really in all seriousness, those of you that are watching this video right now, you are the people that have kept this channel going. I realize that this channel is nowhere near where it was eight years ago. Obviously in the heyday of Clash and the heyday of this channel and things were completely different back then. And the only reason that this channel has continued is because of your passion for the content. You guys enjoy the videos and that keeps me enjoying making them and genuinely I still enjoy playing Clash of Clans. All of those things come together and here we are. We're still going through all of these different accounts. I am playing now 40 different Clash of Clans accounts, which makes for a very busy raid weekend every single week. But I love it, and I just wanted to again say thank you guys. I, I'm specifically talking to you. You think I don't know you. You think I don't notice you because you haven't made it to a live stream, but I do. I have, I will, and I see the comments down below. So genuinely from the bottom of my heart and my family, my daughters who got put through college by YouTube, uh, they thank you as well. So sincerely, I just wanted to say that because I appreciate every last one of you, like I say at the end of every episode. And wait, what? Here we are at the end of this episode already, oh. looking at the status report. We're back up to champion level trophies. This is, I think, the ideal spot to farm at Town Halls 15 Whoa. and 16. We're over a thousand gems again, which feels a little bit better, but we need more. Yeah. The heroes getting more levels. The queen maxed out, going to have some other friends maxing with her shortly. And finally, the wall grind. We are down to a mere Whoa. 220 walls to go. Thank you again, my Gala fam, for making it all the way to the end of today's episode. Now get out there. Make the best of every single day of your life. I love you guys, and I hope to see you again tomorrow for more full attacks. Emotional episode. I have nothing to add except for one thing.